Hey Titans, I'm your host, Johnny Kamara. Welcome to week five of Titan News. Before we start with the interviews, let's go through some announcements. Firstly, we have our fall assembly next Friday, so make sure to be on the ready for that. This weekend, our alumni are getting honored in San Marino's Hall of Fame, so make sure to go to that if you want to honor them as well. And finally, next Wednesday is the AP drop schedule. If you're taking an AP class, but you don't think you're ready for it, make sure to drop by that from the 25th. Now, that's all the announcements for this week. Let's go straight into the interviews. Hi, I'm here with Joseph Alcala, a, a junior in football. So, Joseph, what's your football position? Um, I'm a center on the offensive line. When did you start playing football? Uh, I started playing football in uh, middle school. Uh, I played flag football, and then I really enjoyed it there. So when I uh, moved to San Marino High School, uh, I decided to play tackle football, and yeah, I've been playing ever since. Oh, that's nice. What's your What's your favorite thing about football? Uh, I like the physicality of the sport, hitting other people. It allows me to relieve some stress out of the day. And then also it helps keep me in shape, so that's an added benefit, I would say, of playing the sport. How do you think the team's doing so far this season? Uh, we only have one win right now, which is, isn't where we want it to be. But these next couple of weeks, we hope to win by a large margin against Wilson. So make sure everyone comes to those games. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much, Joseph. This week, our school hosted Club Rush, which I hope many of you attended. Reporting about that is Liz. Today, I'm here with Jennifer Coe, our junior class president. Jennifer, what's the purpose of Club Rush? Uh, club Rush serves to introduce the student body to all the various clubs in our school, and it ranges from the philanthropic ones to um, culture clubs. Why was it split into two separate days? Well, our school has so many different clubs, that's so hard to put all of them into one day. So ASB decided to split into two, so each has their own chance to advertise. When and where are tickets sold? Uh, tickets are sold online and the day of, so you can just come find our ASB table, but we prefer that you buy it online. What's the biggest challenge of Club Rush? The biggest challenge would be communicating with all the clubs because, like I said before, there's so many. So we have to give them a map of where they're setting up and we have to coordinate what they're buying. What do you think ASB can do to improve Club Rush? If I'm being honest, I don't know if there's anything cl uh, Club Rush can be improved on. ASB has done a really good job and even this year we are incorporating ASB to have their own table and all the class cabinets too. Thank you for meeting with me today. Back to you, Gianni. Thanks for that, Liz. Up um, next, we have Ryan interviewing about girls volleyball. Off to you, Ryan. Hello, my name is Ryan Kuh, your reporter for today. And today we're going to be discussing girls volleyball with... Maddie Tang. All right, Maddie, you girls have had a lot of games ever since school started. Any interesting plays or highlights? Um, we played La Cunada last Thursday, and we went to five sets, but we sadly lost by two points. Well, better luck next time. And any specific exercises or routines that you girls do to prepare for any of these games? Uh, based on the schools we play, we'll switch up how we train, both offensively and defensively. Well, that sounds very complex and honestly very tiring. And final question for today. When is your next game going to be? We have a game this Wednesday, and we are playing South Pass. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. I wish our girls good luck. Go Titans, and back to you, Gianni. Thanks for that, Ryan. For our final segment, we have Justin doing his famous Justin Sports segment. Hey, you're just in time for a second segment of Sports with Justin, where I give the school's highlights and scores. Last Friday, varsity football faced off against Crescent Valley and fell to one two due to injuries of several star players. On Wednesday, girls flag football took out San Gabriel but lost 18 and 19, leading them three and two. Also on Wednesday, girls volleyball won against Blair 3-0 with a record of 13. 9 and 1. Finally, Water Polo played Polytechnic on Saturday the 13th and lost 12 to 14. They have a combined record of 3 and 1. Back to you, Gianni. Thanks for enlightening us, Justin. And thank you for watching this week's episode of Titan News. I'll be seeing you guys all next Friday. And as always, stay classy, San Marino.